Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about how to add row in collection. Now in this video, we'll talk about how to copy rows. So to use this copy rows, first we should have one main collection from where we'll copy and we need one other collection where we'll write our copied collection data, that row. If we are working on a project, and let's say we have this type of data and after doing some data manipulation like filtration and deleting some rows columns like that then we want to copy few rows like 10 rows 5 rows like that and then we want to write that a specific rows to any other excel sheet or any other collection for any data manipulation right so for that type of scenario we need to know about how to copy rows or like how to copy only two rows five rows ten rows here you can see here we have let's say six rows now if you just want to copy two rows here this is the header you want to just copy two rows then how you will do that so for these things for this type of scenario you will use copy rows and that copy row is the action of collection internal business object so here you can see i have one master collection and one child collection in this master collection i have two columns serial number and name i have few initial values 10 rows i have now here I am giving the initial value when you will work on any project in that scenario you will read the data from Excel and then store in a collection and then you will get the data you will copy the data from that collection. So here you can understand that this master collection is the collection that you have get as a worksheet collection from your Excel right and then you are working on this collection so as per our scenario we have 10 rows and I want to just read first three rows okay so how can I read these three rows how can I copy these three rows and write to another collection so let me click ok and let me take one action stage double click on that and write here copy three rows now in the business object select internal business objects collection now from this action select copy rows here we have three inputs collection name start row and row and in the output we need to pass our result now in the collection name we need to pass our collection from where we want to copy that rows so I'm going to copy from this master collection because here in the master collection I have 10 rows so I want to just copy three rows from here so I will just drag and drop here but I will get one error because here you can see it is asking for text but it is also accepting only collection name it means just double click on this master collection copy this collection name from here from the top close this in the double quotation paste that collection name now in the start row so as per our scenario we need to copy from first first row second row third row we need to copy three rows so the here it will take index based so index based means if you need row number one so you need to write here zero now and row will be i need three rows so zero means one first row one means second row two means third row right so here we'll write two 
so it will read data from 0 1 2 so it will take three rows now go to outputs and take the child collection name and here it will accept only collection so we'll directly put here now click ok link this reset this and step now you'll see here in the child collection we have one of three rows in the current values it means we have three rows that we copies now that is available here so based on the index label you can copy that if you need four rows you need to write in the end three now one more example i can take here let's say i want to copy from this fifth row to seventh row right it means five six seven so as per index what will happen this will be zero one two three four so we will write four in the start row and then five six six in the end row so we'll double click on that and again we are going to copy three rows so here we'll write four six so it will take five six seven reset step again now you'll see here we have three rows again in the current values five six seven so you just need to understand that index will start from zero and based on this collection data that you need that will be one row two row three row right so based on that you just need to do number of row minus one it means if you need first row you need to put there first row minus one it means zero you need second row it means two minus one one based on that you can copy that rows and now we have three rows copied here in our child collection and this collection you can write to excel sheet and then you can either that will complete your automation or might be you need to do some manipulation on that one right so i hope that will help you thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet and please like this video thank you